we are going to finish this wand even though the video just cut off on me so we make this wand of apprentice we wait and we right click on this and we have a fully charged wand which I'll be right back close enough we now have this thumb and amicon a thumb and amicon which holds all of our research by our research I mean my research because you don't have my world all of it and we're going to do a little research not on gold nuggets no 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 we are going to do research on wait we need paper Let me grab paper and stop clipping through my door. Oh, oh no. I'm not going to do that. You can't get in. Ha ha ha. No, you cannot. So we're going to do a bit of research. As I've said before. I wish this one could shoot lasers. Eh. That comes at laser time. A later time. Mmm. -hmm. Laser time, everybody! <laughs> and I'll make another chest for this. Because why not? While I'm here, paper. Alright, so I bet that just had to do something real quick. Just let me. Blah, blah, blah. This is our thumbcraft area. <laughs> All the shards and zombie brains. This is um, this one. And there's two more and another shard. Okay. There's some paper, which we're going to leave inside here. Not there, but this lot here. Can we research? Got some cloth. This circle. We can research golden nuggets, I guess. Okay, let's research golden nuggets. Because why not? This is totally how you research. Yeah, we have basic transmutation and gibberish, but that'll go away eventually. If we hold down the shift button, we can see what aspects are in each and every single thing. That well, most everything has. These don't have aspects. Okay. Um. This armor is going to be very valuable. Um, blah 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 blah. Iron. This just has a metallium. So we have one of them complete. I've done this before. I think the next one should be uh, exchange and because it gold it should be that chalice thing which should be value and of course Hank Queen not being Hank Queen does not have value of any kind so you just let take up one inventory space in our chest if we're gonna come out here we're going to get some seeds And some wheat, because need food. Need food badly. Not really, we're fine with food, but food's always nice to have. I'm going to 
trying to fix this farm and make it correct. And not take out the lily pad because the lily pad prevents me from falling in the water like an idiot and items from falling into the water. Alright, there's that, that, and I'll keep 32 seeds. The rest shall be used for research. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna finish this row. 27 seeds! Okay. Let's just put some of that. Let's see if we can find anything else. Hmm, some corn. Corn have any value? No. Excuse me. Right. Over here. Take the sheets in here, and I was correct. So we have two aspects. 70% complete. Two aspects done. What do you say? By studying the rudiments of alchemy and the properties of metals, you think you might have stumbled upon a way to transform basic metals into gold. Yes, but... I'm gonna try to make this last. Ah! Alright. We have discovered basic transmutation. There's one metallium. One, one equal trade thing. Actually, what is that called? Permuto. I don't speak Latin. We just right click that, and now it's in our Thumbanomicon. We can click on here, and if we get a crucible, which. Crucible, crucible, there it is. If we take a cauldron and right click on it, it'll give us a crucible. Which we can use to just throw stuff in and. Why don't we just make a crucible now? Hmm. There we go, we have a cauldron. Uh, Cave system! Great. I have a basement. A small basement. Uh, secret passageway. Map. And, um... There we go. Just right click it with the wand. I'm going to need to put some water in. So let me go get an infinite sauce pool. Yes, yes. One bucket at a time. One good old bucket at a time. I'll go get the other bucket. Okay. We take said bucket and right click the cauldron. And then we wait for it to bubble. But it doesn't. Because we need a source of heat underneath it. What would that source of heat be? Well, it could be fire. Or it could be lava. And I don't have any netherrack to keep a fire going. So I'm going to go get a bucket of lava from all the way down there. So be right back. Okay, we're back with that bucket of lava. We just place it down. Place it down and put a stone right there to protect stuff. And we just stare at this. And there we go, it starts boiling. Now then, where's my book? By the way, thank you for watching. Leave a like or a dislike, whichever you prefer. And. I'm gonna try to do this. Yeah, I'm not gonna do this. Alright, have a nice.